Ben. Hi, wrestling fans, and welcome back to another episode of DCW Overdrive TV. Jay Davis with you here, and we have a great program in store for you this week. My colleague Tara will be conducting an in-ring interview with the former DCW champion, Honorable RGP. We'll find out what the Honorable One has to say. We'll also be hearing comments from Adonis Valerio, newcomers Jay King and Chasm Lee, along with Stephen Ferte, BJ Anderson, and Limit Breakers 97, as they all gear up for the Rumble for Glory match, which we'll be bringing you here on DCW Overdrive TV in the next couple of weeks. And in our feature attraction this week, it's going to be Boom Hayden taking on the undefeated MMA star, Tim Spriggs. All that and a lot more as we gear up for Guts and Glory 19 here in Dynamite Championship Wrestling. And without further ado, let's go to the ring. The Honorable RGP being called to the ring by Tara for this exclusive interview here on Overdrive TV. RGP certainly has had a change of heart here in Dynamite Championship Wrestling over the past few weeks. Coming off his big loss. Losing the DCW Championship. The Dirty Sunny Deeds, then excusing Craig Prendergast as his uh, manager, if you will, of the Poliquin firm. Now let's see what the Honorable One has to say. here as we hear the music of the Persian Prince, the Car Shaw, here on Overdrive TV. And there's definitely been some speculation surrounding the Persian Prince in reference to RGP, who I believe we might get some answers to those accusations. 
from Mr. Shaw. Who, by the way, is without his assistant here this week. Sakar Shaw and the Honorable RGP.
We'll have to stay tuned in the coming weeks to see what these two have in store for the superstars of Dynamite Championship Wrestling along with the heavyweight champion, Dirty Sunny Deeds. Fans, a lot more action still to come this week. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I am the Herald of the Void, Omega Phoenix, and this is Ethan Essex. We are the scum of the ashes. And you can find us on Overdrive TV, DCW, taking over YouTube. I think Mustafa Ali is a very wasted talent in WWE. Just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. I mean, look at that thing. Dear God, of course you're gonna be calling yourself Bearcat. Either, either quit or get off the pot, as they say. <laughs> well, getting off the pot is quitting. Yes, I know. <laughs> get some big meat in there. Meat, get meat. some, get some, get some meat slapping together. Just turn, turn the dial this way a little bit. MJF yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> I've been saying it for months. Out with the old, in with the new. Tonight, I gotta toss 29 jabrones over the top rope until there's one man left standing, and that one man is just too naughty. ADCW, this J King, yeah, and I'm Casman yeah. Lee, baby, and we are the high hat. Yes, we got a lot to be hyped about. A lot to tonight. be hyped about. Because if you think about it, right, right, right. Right. as a tag team, uh -huh. we have double the chance double, to win with a victory. You because right. if you win, right? I win. Uh huh. If I win, right? You win. Uh huh. And either way, either way, one of us is becoming DCW mm -hmm. heavyweight champion, and by the Ooh. end of the night, you everybody's know. gonna know that the hype is real, baby. Oh. Woo! DCW Rumble for Glory. 30 men enter, only one walks away to win. As far as I'm concerned, that's just 29 obstacles standing in my way. Cementing my legacy here at DCW and all of professional wrestling, Papa. My name is Steven Huerte. You're soon to be 2022 Rumble for Glory match winner, and you're next DCW champion. DCW, Rumble for Glory. It's my first Rumble I've ever been in. 29 other men, fists flying, bodies flying everywhere. Sounds an awful lot like a mosh pit to me. And I've been in thousands of those. That's the kind of chaos, the kind of violence that I thrive in. But when I win this Rumble and I go on the challenge for the heavyweight title, you will recognize the new violent breed of professional wrestler, J.B. Anderson. <sighs> Phoenix, you know, as well as I do, there's nothing more that we would want to do on a Saturday night than be around a bunch of people in a potential super spreader event where masks are recommended than losing an opportunity at the DCW Tag Team Championships. <sighs> Guess what? We have another opportunity in this Super spreader again. That's right. <laughs> and when we win, we will win. We will win. This should be. It will be. It's gonna be. It shall be. Us challenging for the tag titles. Because this right here, this is a unit. An absolute unit. This is a team. Chungus, baby. That's right. And we're coming for those tag titles that rightfully belong to us. Because you know. Tag division so stacked. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs>
Mr. Unpredictable himself, Boom Hayden. Mullet personified here this week, and he's going to be facing an uphill battle against the undefeated Tim Spriggs. Let's go back to Tara. Tim Spriggs, the MMA star and champion, this week facing off against Boom Hayden. Hank Daniels is your official, and Mr. Spriggs goes right to work on Boom Hayden, putting the boots to him in the corner. Referee putting the count on him, he's going to have to step in there. Gets a verbal warning. And again, going right back to work. Not letting up against Boom Hayden. And what's it going to take to stop a monster like Tim Spriggs here in Dynamite Championship Wrestling? Uppercut shot by Tim Spriggs. As Boom tries to make a comeback. Misses. Tim Spriggs now. Another big shot. In the corner. Boom Hayden. Trying to head for higher ground. Oh, look at this. Boom flips over. Headbutt. And a drop kick. Boom has certainly overcome many challenges here in Dynamite Championship Wrestling. And he really showed what he had in that stairway. Glory match, but right now he gets Dolly to back suplex for his efforts. Spriggs now sets him up. One more time. Just drives his man down. And you can see Spriggs hasn't even broke a sweat. Came on away for the trailer front to do this, huh? Waist locks him one more time. And that's a sign saying it's over. He's going to let Boom get to his feet. He's got him in his sights. What's he going to do? Oh, he misses. Spriggs goes to the post. Boom. Pulls him up. One, two. We got two on Tim Spriggs. Certainly a rousy ball, but look at that. Spriggs was able to get the ankle. Hooks him up. He's got him. In that submission move. There's nowhere to go. Poor Tim Hayden. What's he going to do? And that's it. Tim Spriggs with another impressive victory. It takes him to 4-0 here in Dynamite Championship Wrestling. Certainly an impressive victory as he has everybody on notice here in Dynamite Championship Wrestling and in his sights. Boom, back to his feet. And what's he doing? He's extended his hand to Tim Spriggs. And Spriggs shakes his hand but puts him in too. A wrist lock. He better be careful he can snap that wrist. A boom hit him. Screaming in agony. We need to get.
needed some help out here. We need some officials or somebody out here to help out Boom Hayden. Wait a minute. The music of Mr. Ulala. And here comes the world famous one now to the rescue. We've seen these two have some issues here on Overdrive TV. You better put on your headset. You see that eye you got? You're on the back You're on the one. You have to walk around with a and eye go up and I'm done with you. Yeah, you already lost one eye. You'll lose the other one, Mr. Levine. These two with a verbal exchange on the outside. Wow, Tim Spriggs putting out the threat to Mr. Ooh La. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, take that piece of trailer trash with you. What's it going to take to end this rivalry between Mr. Ooh La La and Tim Spriggs? And it was on a previous episode of Overdrive TV that we seen Mr. Ooh La La and Tim Spriggs in an exhibition match with Mr. Ulala unfortunately coming out on the short end of things. The MMA star certainly sure of himself. And what a great Show compassion here by Mr. Ulala as he comes out and helps Boom Hayden. And we haven't seen the end of Boom. He's going to be back to fight another day. As is the world famous one, Mr. Ulala. Fans, it's been another great week here on Overdrive TV. Thank you so much for being with us. Be sure to check out DCWProWrestling.com for more information. And we'll see you next week. Shane Davis saying bye-bye, everybody. I thought you learned your lesson last time, ooh la not to cross the Mushmaster. But I guess I didn't beat you bad enough. So I challenge you, Mr. ooh to a match. This time, I'm putting you down for good. ooh la ha-ha! <laughs> Tim Spriggs, you want a match? Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Let's make it a blindfold match. You won't be able to see me. Ha <laughs> ha! la! Dynamite Championship Wrestling returns to the Delaware Auto Exchange Saturday, February 19th for the 19th anniversary show Guts and Glory. Tickets, prices, and more information are available at DCWProWrestling.com. Spring is on its way, and if you're looking for the absolute best t-shirt to rock, it's not going to be the rock shirt. It's not going to be your favorite sports jersey. It's going to be the official Zack the Ripper Comics t-shirt. You can find this actual shirt along with a barrage of over 50 plus items at the Zack the Ripper Comics Teespring store. The link is in the description below. If you go on there, if you purchase one of my items, let me know. Send me a direct message on any of my social media and I will feature that in an upcoming video. If you'd like to be in one of my videos, please go purchase one of the shirts, one of the anythings. There's leggings, all kinds of cool stuff on there, and I will put you in a video. One last time, check it out. The official Zack the Ripper Comics t-shirt, nice and bright, cutting its way, ripping its way into your hand.